Hello and welcome back or welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making strawberry oatmeal bars. So right here, I'm pouring half a cup of unsalted butter, which I microwaved for a minute. Also wanted to say happy October. It's a finally spooky season. I am so excited because I get to decorate and enjoy Halloween movies. Then I'm putting half a teaspoon of salt, which is optional. First time, this is like the first recipe I've ever tried baking and apparently it came out good because my family likes it so I'm attempting to record which is this is the second time I recorded this and so right here I'm putting one fourth cup of light brown sugar And then I'm pouring one four one fourth one half cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm going to be putting three fourth cup of old fashioned whole rolled oats. Also, I'm doing a voiceover because this was around the time that my siblings got out of school, so the house was very loud. My siblings were singing at the table. One's watching TV in the living room, and then my other two younger siblings were running around the house playing. So it was quite chaotic. And there was no point in me even trying to talk over them because it was quite loud. Okay, so then I'm putting one cup of all-purpose flour. Also, if I sound a bit weird, it's because right now I'm struggling with allergies. Currently fighting off runny nose and watery eyes at the moment. So if I kind of sound weird, that's the reason why. <laughs> I'm literally having a tough time with my runny nose. And I already took Claritin and I'm still struggling with it, so yay. How's your day or night or whenever you're watching this video? Hopefully it's good. Hopefully October is treating you well so far. It's already the second day. And there I am closing it and then I'm stirring it. So what I'm making right there is the crust and the topping for this. And then when you're done stirring it, you just grab a square pan. Spraying it with Baker's Joy, I think it's called. And so that's so it won't get stuck. Because I, my first attempt, I tried to use parchment paper and the spray and it did not come out right. It got stuck to the parchment paper, so that's lovely. So I am trying it differently without the parchment paper. See how it turns out. Oh yeah, it is Baker's Joy. Okay, yeah, I was right. And so I'm pouring half of the mixture into the pan. 
and then I'm leaving the other half in the bowl so that could be like topping when I'm done with it and then once I'm done with that I'm pressing it down And here I am showing it. I already have some of the strawberries for the strawberry mixture in the bowl because it requires for two cups of chopped fresh strawberries and I have a hard time cutting. So I already cut some off camera. So it's already in the bowl. And I just need to finish it off with another cup of strawberries and then I'm done and I just pour it in. I just have a hard time because I get scared I'll cut my finger or something. As you can tell, I'm having quite a long time cutting strawberries. And the reason you see a lot of dishes in the background is because my mom made pasta for us kids. And then for her, she made a, a healthy pizza, if you would call it that. I forgot what it was, but it was healthy. And so, yeah. So, that's what we ate for lunch that day. And there I am still cutting, taking my time. Finally, I'm done. There I go putting the rest of it into the bowl and then I'm gonna be putting Two tablespoons of lemon juice, which you could use lemon juice like the real lemon juice Like what that's what it's called or you can use like a fresh lemon juice But we don't have any lemons at the moment. So I use that instead And then I'm going to be putting two teaspoons of cornstarch. And the reason why you're going to be seeing me put four of those is because that's half a teaspoon. So I need to do that four times for it to be two complete teaspoons. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to get the sugar again, and I'm going to be putting one third cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm stirring it, trying to combine it. When I was putting the lemon juice, I preheated the oven because our oven is kind of weird. It's not completely the best because it can be off temperature, if that makes sense. Like it, it requires amount of time for it to be actually the correct temperature. Here I am spreading out the strawberry layer in the pan. Then here I am putting the rest of the dry mixture on the top for the topping layer. And then I'm spreading that all over the top so it's even. I'm 
And then after that, I just put it in the oven at 350 for 50 minutes. And when you take it out, you let it cool down so it can be not crumbly, I guess you can call it, like messy. I did not record taking it out or anything because it was already nighttime. So I did not record myself taking it out, but I did record it showing it before I put it in the oven. And that's what it looks like. Oh man. Okay, I got it. Let me see. Mm. Ah! Okay. I was quite nervous to do this and okay. uh, because this is my first baking video. Let's see ya. Hey, do. Uh, is that a thing? <gasps> You don't know how to do this part. I know how to do this part. Oh, you missed a spot. There is a spot right here. You missed a spot right here. 